six, five, four, three, two. <laughs> Plus 30 seconds into the mission, Electron is well on its way to space after its 20th liftoff from the pad at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. We had a great view from the tracking cameras of the power of those Rutherford engines, with Electron clearing past 700, sorry, it's clearing well on its way to space right now. And very soon, Electron will approach max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. And this is the moment when the forces against the launch vehicle are at their peak during ascent. So let's listen in the for the call that sunny. Electron has cleared that you gate. Ship run one. Approaching max Q. HVB discharge nominal. Max Q cleared. Dream ship run. There's the call out, Electron has successfully passed through Max Q with propulsion continuing nominally. In about a minute, we'll be coming up to three events that happen back to back during flight. First is Great, main is engine nominal. cutoff or MECO. This is when the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's booster throttle down before station. shutting off completely to slow the rocket down before the second event. That's when the first stage separates from the rest of Electron as it continues with the third event, ignition of the sole Rutherford engine that powers Electron and the satellites to orbit. With that stage separation, Electron's booster begins its journey back to Earth and so will begin our second Electron recovery attempt. We'll hopefully have a live camera feed on that first stage to watch that descent take place. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's wait for the call out for those three events. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And Miko confirmed. Successful separation. Stage technician. Recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Analyst recovery, proceed with sequence 59, stage one recovery operations. Confusing meetings on. As you've seen, we've had a successful Miko and stage separate. No, there's been no ignition, sorry, but on your screen, uh, we'll keep that view and see what we can come back to you with soon. Okay, so it looks like we've had a loss of telemetry. Uh, we'll come back to you with more information as soon as we have it.